right, so this is my attempt at uh, the Masters League Open 21.1. Uh, my second go at this. Uh, the main difference here is going to be uh, strategy. So on the uh, left hand side is my first attempt, on the right hand side is my second attempt. Um, this is th four days later, you know, the fourth day. Um, so I haven't all of a sudden become fitter, stronger, or faster. Um, purely just a strategy change. Um, I did know uh, going into the first attempt that that strategy was not the greatest for me uh, due to not being uh, able to use a barbell during lockdown um, which was quite a significant amount of time. Uh, I had to do a lot of dumbbell work um, but no barbell work. So. Uh, also, I know you can't see the clock on the left hand side, but they are synced up to the same amount of time So you'll be able to see the overall time uh, slipping up the right hand side So the two strategies uh, my first attempt I was doing uh, touch and go for five reps and Sort of resting as needed. Uh, I did rest more than I wanted to um, just because Doing those five touch and go reps really uh, spiked the heart rate and uh, got the the breathing going, um, so towards the end I definitely was resting way too much um, and also uh, slowed my pace on the lower down as well. But on the right hand side for the second attempt, uh, I was, did singles the whole way through. So from start to finish, no touch and go reps in sight um, and was able to um, stay nice and close to the barbell so not walking away or anything like that so my cycle rate was uh, actually faster than uh, the touch and go reps because I had to break um, and I believe my pace on the rower so I'll go back to that in a second but as you can see so on to the rower first um, doing the singles um, let's see the pace. So I think for the first um, attempt, my pace was about two minutes, roughly. And then you can see on the other side, we're currently at a 156 pace. So I know you can't see it there, but the uh, stroke rate is pretty much the same. So 26, 27 strokes per minute. Um, I was consistently. Uh, higher on my second attempt at the 27 um, whereas on the left hand side on my first attempt um, I was sort of fluctuating between that 26 and 27 as I tried to you know, I needed to catch my breath a little bit more uh, during the row um, the, probably the one thing that remained the same even though I did perform better on the rower um, was I did treat the rower as more of a rest than anything else um, I think uh, if I wanted to increase or to decrease my time uh, even further, I would have to push harder on the rower, um, which is something I'm capable of, um, but just not at this point in time. So, so we can you can see the the difference in um, average per 500, a little bit lower, um, but I think overall definitely look probably a little bit uh, fresher on the second attempt compared to the first so halfway um, you definitely notice in the back half of this thousand meters the uh, difference between the two so just hit the halfway on the uh, second attempt it's so about 40 meters in front One of the other things that you will notice, uh, especially getting off the rower, um, is what I do straight after, straight after the row, which we'll get to in a minute or so. So again, constantly between that uh, 55 or 56 and 58 on the second attempt, where the uh, first attempt I was sort of 
between that 158 and 202 so a greater range um, a lot more consistent on that second attempt just felt a lot more comfortable and that was because I didn't have the heart rate as high um, due to trying to cycle that barbell with touch and go reps so the last 200 meters in the uh, second attempt so I hit a 2 minute pace but then drop it quickly back down Hundred meters on the second attempt. So as I alluded to before, uh, one of the biggest differences between the first and second attempt um, is my transitions and the rest time. So finishing up that thousand meter row, standing up, and then straight onto that barbell. So into that first rep. On the first attempt, we decide to go chalk up. So already on what three or four reps in on the uh, second attempt. So we get to about six or seven reps in before I even pick up the bar for that first attempt. Still cycling that barbell. Uh, short break there. I tried to make sure that um, my rest on those singles was very short um, and just kept telling myself to pick up that bar. Whereas on those uh, bigger uh, unbroken sets, it's much, much harder to do. Um, in that first attempt, so I've done uh, smaller sets. Uh, yes. That is 100% true, um, but the number and reason I chose fives was um, I knew I was capable of doing it, um, but it was still going to be quite challenging. Um, at the end of the day, I'm still treating this as a training session more than a uh, competition, um, especially more, more so on the, the first attempt than the second attempt. The second attempt, I was really trying to you know, better my time. Uh, but the first attempt was definitely more about training than anything else. Um, getting in those, uh, but getting in the barbell cycling and seeing where I'm at and where I can improve. So back onto the rower for the 750 on the second attempt. And yet to finish my set of 15 on the first attempt. We've got another set of five, I believe, on the um, first attempt. So I'm what, almost 100 meters in to the row. Still going for barbell cycling in that first attempt. Bit of a pause there. Yeah, it's under 250 meters, just also just over 250 meters, <coughs> 150 meters. Completed. I still haven't started rowing yet, so let's see where I ended up. So that's 200. So about 260 meters ahead from their first to the second attempt. And again, this is uh, the fourth day uh, after completing it the first time. So there's three days rest in between. So it's not like I am 
faster or anything like that or fitter uh, stronger uh, it's purely just a strategy um, and choosing the correct strategy for you is super super important um, why didn't I do the singles from the start again um, the first attempt I was treating more as a uh, training session rather than a true competition setting uh, if I was to do this as a live event and I only had one shot at it I would 100% I've done the singles from the start um, and posted you know, a good time from the start <coughs> so again on the pace on the uh, second row of the 750 meters for the second attempt uh, overall is much faster uh, on the first attempt it was sort of between 2.4, 2.7 um, and on the second attempt uh, it was between 2 and 2.02 so and a lot more um, consistent focusing on the breathing again I'm not going out super hard on this row so a, a 2 minute pace is, is not you know, all that difficult all in itself obviously when you throw in the barbell and stuff like that it becomes harder but um, if I wanted to increase my time as I decrease my time I would definitely uh, try and push a little bit harder on that row which then would definitely affect the the barbell but that's something that you'd have to sort of try and balance out alright finishing off the 750 row again straight off the rower picking up that barbell straight into that second thing. and here's where you on this uh, last set between the first and second attempt where you definitely see the difference between um, how I'm feeling <clears throat> so another short break there uh, I think three three reps into the set of ten. And yet to complete the row on the first attempt. So I believe on the first attempt I uh, once again have a quite a significant rest period where I chalk up and fluff around and wonder why my heart rate's so high <laughs> uh, whereas the second attempt thir uh, 13 minutes in I'm at like 6 or 7 reps short rests um, again if I was to do it for the third time uh, that's something that I'll try and clean up um, is definitely not having that rest even though they were short it's definitely no time that you could be moving the barbell so so on to the last 500 meters on the row and just starting my first set on the uh, first attempt of 10 again first attempt resting um, towards this back end there was definitely a lot of resting on that first attempt um, and again that was just due to my heart rate being high and breathing heavy trying to cycle that barbell for five reps and you'll notice also my um, pace for the row on the second attempt um, is a lot more consistent and a lot lower um, compared to that first attempt which we'll see after I complete these five reps so sitting at 157 pace I believe I hold that pretty much um, the whole time for that 500 except for the last hundred where I bring it home um, <laughs> oh, phone call. good didn't realize I had a phone call um, So yeah, well, there we go. 158 
Uh, with 20 to go. 100 meters left. This is where I start to really drive the legs. Finish with the arms. Uh, it's about 150 I think I hold there. Just didn't have too much left in the tank. On the uh, first attempt here, uh, the average per 500 was definitely a lot higher. <coughs> and I don't think I was able to um, finish off as hard on that first attempt compared to the second attempt. So overall time for my second attempt was 15.23, which is just under two minutes faster uh, than my first attempt. Um, and purely just a strategy um, decision can make a big difference to your time. For me, uh, I've still got a lot of work to do in regards to um, cycling that barbell and sort of maintaining a manageable uh, heart rate and breathing rate. Um, and I knew that going into it, but like I said, I treated my first attempt as a training session, um, as I still got a long way to go um, to where I need to be and where I want to be. So on the second attempt, I was definitely looking to uh, improve that score, which I achieved. I was hoping actually to go a little bit faster, um, closer to the 15 minute mark. Um, I would have loved to get under 15, but I'm not there just yet. Um, still got some more, more training to do, but overall, um, much more pleased or happier with my second attempt compared to my first. Uh, better execution, uh, better game plan definitely, um, obviously, um, but still got plenty of work to do. So just as we finish off this uh, last bit of row. So for the um, second, uh, sorry, first attempt, my time was 17.17 so again just under two minutes faster compared uh, from the first to the second attempt 